All right, guys, you're here live with MVI today. Um, we are inside a 2015 GMC Yukon Denali. And as you'll see, um, this does not have the CarPlay, so no projection icon. It does have the factory nav, but there's no projection icon. So today we're going to uh, go ahead and install the um, the uh, factory CarPlay Android Auto nav system. So we'll go ahead and get to it and show you guys how it's done. Uh, that way if you want to do this on your own, you'll have the uh, guideline to do so. So I'm going to start over here at the glove box. Um, that's where the HMI is located. So we're going to get the glove box out of the way. And to start with, there's a little... Um, release over here you want to get that out of your way and then this just kind of presses in this folds down now we've got some t15s right here to remove and this is that pull cable that i released from the inside of the glove box right here so i just want to make sure and get that out of your way this panel out the way here so man I want to say there's one hidden right here It's easy to forget about so once that's out the way it's just gonna pull we'll set it aside and then right up here is our HMI you can see with all the uh, cables so the trick here guys take and do that back and forth to loosen it out of its um, locks if you will and then one by one, we're gonna take these guys down. And they can be a little bit of a bear. Okay. GPS can be tight, so sometimes a pick does help. So when it does this, guys, I'll just get in there with a right-angled pick. To help it off so as you can see that can be a bear but you don't want to get too rough break that it's gonna pull out the new one label side up make sure it's facing you It'll slide right back in its place And one by one, I'll plug them back in. Okay, it's right back in its place. I'll come back and put that together here in a second. So next, what we're gonna do is uh, tear out the center here. So the radio sits right down in here. So unfortunately, we've got to access it by getting all this out of our way. So <clears throat> start pulling panels on both sides. We are gonna have to pull this lower knee bolster, which I'll show you, and then all this is gonna come out. So we'll get going on that right now. Now 
I like to start by just getting these side panels out of my way first. And just a nice little tug right there. And these come out of the way. Okay, this guy here has to come off. right off then this is all gonna pop up via right here but first I'm gonna get that side pulled apart so let me get situated here and to start over here you're gonna want to get this side panel off over here which again just really tight clips guys but this will all just come right off that does leave access to two T15s here, which I'll zap off, and then there's a couple down here. This one, if you're lucky, you can get the drill in there, which I just was. screws guys that just comes off like that we do have a t7 right there or not a t7 but seven millimeter like that guys really tight that now is that allows that to come out of our way and then we've got some uh, some seven mils and whatnot Sometimes get behind these. So, instead of fighting it, now nice and easy, right here. And again, I got a pain in the butt clip. To see those fackers can just be a royal pain in the butt, guys. So, at least these push guys down here. This 
There's also one at the top. This guy comes right out. New one right back in this place. That's it except for the USB port, guys. So, as you can see, less than an hour, we're gonna be done. Start to finish on this guy. Get some screws back in place. Now these guys It's best to try and get these out I find They stay in there like that Now these can just click back on. <laughs> you can see the teeth get damaged pulling out sometimes. Then the trick is to get them to fold back down in there, which I'm probably gonna have to grab some needle nose to, to do. So I'll do that and come back. So for right now, I'm just gonna kinda set this back down in here. Out of the way. And we're gonna work on replacing the uh, USB port right here. So. And did we bring that out? Yeah, we got it right here. Replacement USB will come in the kit. Again, your picks, guys. So right up here at the top. Kind of get in there. That'll just pry right out. See just a little release ears right there. Right back in place. And we should be able to ready to fire this guy up. So...
we got the projection icon. So, um, with any luck. I will warn you guys, the cheap uh, knockoff Apple cables um, will work for temporarily. Sometimes they will they will fade away. So you're gonna want to invest in a nice a nice cord. Um, this isn't genuine Apple, but it also wasn't a real cheap one either. Genuine Apple does work the best. Once we plug the phone in, we immediately get a message to come up it's asking me on the phone to allow now I'm CarPlay you can see the icon changed back to Apple CarPlay so if you're to plug in an Android phone um, you can see text messages already coming in if you're plugging an Android phone um, that'll turn to Android Auto but we can go here messages would you like to hear your unread messages or create a new one so I'm just gonna grab one. Mark said, capital K, want to reply? Yes. What do you wanna say? I'll text you in a bit. Your reply to Mark says, I'll text you in a bit. Ready to send it? Yes. Done. So there you go, that's how easy it is to send messages back and forth. Um, obviously you got access to your music. Course, the big one Apple Maps I do hear Waze is coming soon it's not out yet but it is supposed to be coming soon on Apple maybe they're already for Android um, but anyway that's it for your your full factory CarPlay Android Auto upgrade in a uh, GMC Yukon or Yukon Denali